We continue our team coverage with 10 News anchor Lindsay Kennett. Lindsay, you've been in downtown Blacksburg this morning and spoke to a tech student who lives nearby. It sounds like in those sound bites we've been playing that she is pretty distraught about what happened. Duke, that's exactly right. This is a very alarming and scary situation for students on campus, especially as this was all playing out. It was a very active scene. It still is, as you can see behind me. This is Jackson Street and North Main Street. You can still see it's roped off by police tape. There are still police vehicles here. But for students, they just didn't know what was going on at the time. Uh, I talked with that one student. She's a senior at Virginia Tech. She says that she was home when she got a bunch of text messages from her friends uh, saying that there was a, a shooting downtown. She instantly went to go lock her door and then she saw multiple police officers in her own backyard. Now she lives just a couple blocks away from where the shooting happened. She says she she locked her door. She stayed inside. She did end up going out to grab something at 7-Eleven nearby, which is when I ran into her. She says it's just uh, unbelievable to imagine that this would happen so close to home, just steps away from campus and on the heels of the Bridgewater College, Bridgewater College campus shooting and of course what happened back in 2007 at Virginia Tech. She says today's shooting is weighing heavy on her heart. Knowing what happened so long ago, it's never far from people's minds. Like everyone has thought about it at some point. Um, and it feels far away. But when something like this, I mean, it's like it's not far away anymore. Of course, this is a very active investigation. We don't know about suspect or suspects, a possible motivation. We still don't know the identities of the victims or those injured, um, but we will definitely be working to learn more. But for now, for the community here, for students, it's just a waiting game to hear from police.